अंडर द चैप्टर ऑफ कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द इनडायरेक्ट यूटिलिटी फंक्शन इनडायरेक्ट यूटिलिटी फंक्शन इज डिफाइंड एज द मैक्सिमम लेवल ऑफ द यूटिलिटी दैट कैन बी अटेंड बाय द कंज्यूमर कीपिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ द मनी इनकम एंड द प्राइस कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू विल बी अमेज दैट इट इज सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ द डेफिनेशन दैट वी वर हैविंग फॉर द यूटिलिटी but the main difference is here that here we are going to utilize the word of money income mean this is the utility maximization of a consumer when we keep his nominal income constant it means we are not concerned with the constant level of the utility rather maximization of utility keeping his nominal income constant mostly when we have to deal with the utility maximizing approach we utilize the approach either through the substitution method or we utilize the lagrange method and then we keep the utility level might be constant but in the indirect utility function we are not going to assess the utility maximization through the utility approach rather we take the expenditure approach so for the marshallian demand function we substitute the part of the that function where income lies that income is replaced or the substitute by the budget or the income or the expenditure constraint because we know that whatever we are going to spend mean any consumer wo koi bhi kharajat kare wo usko apni aamdan se zyada pe nahi leke ja sakta तो उसकी इस चीज को हम इक्वेट करते हैं कि वट एवर ही इज गोइंग टू स्पेंड थ्रू हिज इनकम दैट विल बी इक्वल टू हिज एक्सपेंडिचर एंड दिस पार्ट ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर इज बीइंग सब्सिट्यूटेड इन द मार्शिलियन डिमांड फंक्शन तो व्हेन वी से द डिमांड ऑफ द कंज्यूमर इट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ प्राइस ऑफ दैट कमोडिटी प्राइस ऑफ द अदर कमोडिटीज एंड द एक्सपेंडिचर that the consumer is going to incur so we maximize the utility through the price of commodity x through the price of commodity y and then we change that what will be the change in the commodities demand through the change in his expenditure function so in direct utility function will take that what the consumer is going to spend for the purchase of that commodity and if the price has changed how the consumer will change his expenditure related to that commodity so consumer is going to maximize his utility and for this decision he is going to check through the change in his consumption incurred in the form of the expenditure so when we utilize this example we see that the utility is the function of price of the two commodities and here is the consumers income and this is the budget line or the budget constraint and if we have to maximize the utility through the lagrange possibility we take that this will be the optimal amount of x1 this is the x2 and this is the x3 but here we all having subject to the income if this amount of the income here we just replace income is equal to expenditure and here we say that this expenditure will be just equal to the budget incurred on the consumer purchase of the various commodities so when we include this part this utility will take the form of not u rather it will become in the form of the v where we see that this v we give the notation to indirect utility function that now it is the function of the price that is the vector of all the prices and then m or the expenditure presented in the same units as the prices so the optimal level of utility will not be directly attained rather indirectly through the expenditure incurred on the various commodities in response to the 
प्राइस चेंज थैंक